morning everyone and welcome back to the vlog. In today's episode, we are going to be modifying the 997 GT3 and we're going to be adding a new spoiler, removing the original glass, replacing it with the RS glass and then also doing the Renline track matting. We are waiting for the other Renline stuff like the pedals and the perforated boards. So all the parts are sitting right behind me. And lastly, we are going to be adding some roof rails and hopefully mount the ski box from the F430 on this baby right here because it makes the car more practical and livable when we need to travel with a lot of luggage. Now this GT3 is fairly new to me and I did get it because we are going to be building a RWB GT3. Although the 997.2 kit is not yet readily available, at least when the kit is ready, we will be ready for the project with this car. We also have some special parts coming for this car, starting with a Klein full Intonel exhaust, tractive coilovers, a DSC controller for the suspension to improve the ride. We also have a CAE shifter, which is gonna be amazing. I have a RS light and clutch flywheel so which makes it super light and makes it rev like anything else. Now like I said the 997 versions of the RWB kit are available to us distributors for us to build rather than him flying in and if you want him to fly in and still build your 997 you have to pay extra now. Also he did give us full rights now since it is the pandemic to build the air-cooled models as well. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking and get straight to work. We are still working and now we are helping Norman fix the 997 GT3. So Norman actually installed the cup wing along with the new trunk. The color is a little off. This looks like it's super white versus this like a dirty white. So I don't mind at the moment because when we get the RWB kit, we're definitely going to have to repaint that, install the tractive coilovers. This CAE shifter looks so good. I can't remove that yet because we're gonna connect the cables. This section here, this needs to be 90 millimeters, which we've got already. Norman's also finished installing the Ren line track matting. It looks so good. This is the high torque gun from Obsessed Garage, just for Porsches. And it's nice because we actually don't have to put any effort on it. So this side was over torqued, that's why we were having such a hard time removing it. This is the RSS arm that we're going to be replacing the rear trailing arm with. We're going to be lengthening this arm to sort of match the length of this arm so that uh, our adjustments are very minimal. We're going to remove that arm just because we have to replace the shock. We're going to use the factory settings in terms of the height as well and hopefully this will lead up to a good ride height. This needs to come off. The PSAM controller is up in here. And then we're just gonna be swapping this out. Okay, here's the Klein Inconel exhaust. This is the sides, the X5, along with the sport headers. We have some new gaskets over there and we're just going to proceed to install everything back on. Sauce this one already. The Klein Intonel tips look really good. Nice protrusion, carbon black. The trunk paint, a little whiter than expected. Finish this with clear coat later on. I think I should have ordered also the trunk with a brake light. Got some special guests in the house today. Special project for Joey. It's going to have a woodland camo wrap. But they are here today to touch up all the other cars. Welcome, What's Archie. Up? How are thank you? you? Thank you. Thank you for having us here. Yes. I love your garage, Andy. <laughs> Easy. Well, before going to the shop. <laughs> <laughs> we finally finished the golf cart. Look at it. It looks so cool. Woodland camo. Thank you to Second Skin, Magnus Pro. Awesome. Norman has finished installing the roof racks, the wing, the rear coilover along with the rear tension arm along with the Klein full internal exhaust. ESC controller which is in the inside already. The CAE shifter we still need the ball joint and after that this car should be done and uh, we just need to wait for 
some more sealant so that we can put the glass back on. Love the Porsche racks. Finally going to be able to finish the vlog on this. Taking it down to Manila so that we can use it. So excited to use the shifter. Doing a cold start with the Klein. Oh wow, the clutch of this car is way heavier. We didn't have this DC failure before. Ah, oh, there it's gone. We finished doing the Klein exhaust, the cup wing with the cup trunk and then the tractive coilovers along with the rear arm and then the DSC controller so everything is good for testing and we're gonna leave this in the city obviously we also did the roof railing we might pick up the roof box from Ferrari from the F430 since that's not done yet slap it on here just for show but yeah excited to see and feel the suspension of this car the car looks so good the camel two guys are debating Beautiful shifter. Look at this. CAE shifter. Cold start, finally testing out the 997 GT3 project. The car says it needs a service too. We're gonna drive around now and head down to garage 2233 to check on the yellow 911 that we've been building. Also in between, we're gonna test the car out. The feeling of driving the 997 GT3, it's like you have to power your way through the gears and the clutch. Seem to be struggling a little to find third gear, maybe I just need to get used to it. I can feel the rear maybe dancing a little too much. I do want to check the alignment. Let's get a sound check. the Porsche BASM is actually doing such a beautiful job of absorbing the bumps on the road. We actually don't even have the sport mode on for the suspension also. I want you guys to comment down below what you prefer the new modern engines in the 992-991 series which is the 4 liter versions or the older 3.8 Metzger. I'm curious to know which ones you prefer for sound. Look at the Targa. The Targa looks like a car already. Super happy. I said we're still missing a lot of the interior pieces. As you can see, bare bones. This is what we're here to work on. So I brought my tester. Hopefully we can help troubleshoot what's wrong and then figure out how to get it running. And basically we're now checking the spark plugs if we have any fouling because the car's been been trying to start for a long time. Let's check if my spark ang pangalawa. Check out his secret project over here. He is building a slant nose. It's got a nice wide body too. This is an original 993 TT2. Like my 993 Turbo, it's also skyrocketing in value, but not like that. Okay, we are getting out of here. Love that sound. Okay, we left Garage 2233 already. I think we've had some moderate success. We were able to follow a guide that was sent to me long ago to figure out the cam sync state. And then after that, they basically need to do a timing light to figure out the timing. And then from there, they can proceed to start the car. I think the car should run soon. I don't know if you can hear the clunkiness of the gear selector. It's just almost like having a gated manual. And we 
have arrived at Fitment. Check out this shop, Skyless Inside. This is Cholo. Cholo will be our new editor and camera operator and assistant and doing the online sales and all the other things that we need done that I need help with. So I'm gonna pass the cam to him. So right now we're gonna leave the shop and head over to the GT3 and do some roller shots so we can finish the vlog on that. to Trollo and it was awesome to meet him. Thank you so much to Kyle also. We are now headed home. We are going to end this vlog finally. I hope you guys enjoy the rollers and the extra audio, I guess, care that we've inputted to the ender of this vlog. The next time you're going to see this car, it's going to be a different masterpiece. So till then, I will see you guys again in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!